Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1741, Andrew Bedford publishes the first edition of the first American magazine. It is called The American Magazine. In 1759, today in Halifax, Nova Scotia is the first use of secret balloting in Canada for the Nova Scotia Assembly. In 1777, the Marquis de Sade is arrested without charge and imprisoned in Vincennes Fortress. In 1795, the first state university in the United States opens, the University of North Carolina. In 1822, the design of the flag of Greece is adopted. In 1826, the American Temperance Society is formed in Boston. In 1830, the Great Fire of New Orleans, Louisiana begins today. In 1832, today is London's first case of cholera. In 1837, New Yorkers riot over the high price of flour, baking flour. In 1861, Abraham Lincoln is declared president. In 1866, Jesse James holds up his first bank. He gets $15,000 in Liberty, Missouri. In 1867, work begins on the covering of the Zen, burying Brussels' primary river and creating the city's modern central boulevards. Also today in 1867, Johann Strauss's Blue Danube Waltz premieres in Vienna, Austria. In 1869, the National Convention of Black Leaders meets in Washington, D.C. In 1883, revolutionary German composer Richard Wagner dies in Venice at age 69. In 1891, celebrated American artist Grant Wood is born today near Anamosa, Iowa. In 1893, the Independent Labour Party of the United Kingdom holds its first meeting. In 1894, Auguste and Louis Lumiere patent the cinematograph, a combination movie camera and projector. In 1908, the Rhodes Opera House fire in Boyerton, Pennsylvania kills 171 people. In 1910, the birth of public radio broadcasting is today. In 1913, the Delta Sigma Theta sorority is founded on the campus of Howard University. In 1914, in New York City, the American Society of Composers, Authors, and Publishers is established to protect the copyrighted musical compositions of its members. We just call this group ASCAP today. In 1915, an earthquake in Avezzano, Italy kills nearly 30,000 people. In 1917, the Dutch exotic dancer Mata Hari is arrested in Paris on suspicion that she is a German spy. In 1919, Eddie Robinson from Grambling becomes the winningest college football coach. Is winningest a word? Hmm. In 1920, baseball's Negro National League is formed. Also today in 1920, the League of Nations formally recognizes the perpetual neutrality of Switzerland. In 1923, the first black pro basketball team, Renaissance, organizes. In 1924, King Tut's tomb is first opened today. In 1925, the U.S. Congress makes appealing a case to the Supreme Court much more difficult. In 1931, New Delhi becomes the capital of India. In 1932, George Spanky McFarlane joins the cast of Our Gang. In 1935, Bruno Hopman was convicted of kidnapping and murdering the 20-month-old son of Charles Lindbergh. He received the death penalty. In 1937, the Prince Valiant comic strip first appears. Also in 1937, the NFL's Boston Redskins moved to Washington, D.C. In 1942, Henry Ford patents a plastic automobile, which is 30% lighter than a regular car. Also today in 1942, a German test pilot is the first to use an aircraft ejection seat. In 1943, the Women's Marine Corps is created. In 1945, today is the first of three days of bombing the German city of Dresden. It is estimated that 25,000 were killed. Also in 1945, after a 49-day battle with Germany, the USSR captures Budapest, Hungary. 159,000 are confirmed dead. In 1948, the Wright Flyer, the first plane to fly, returns to the U.S. from England. In 1950, English singer-songwriter Peter Gabriel is born today. In 1954, Frank Selvey becomes the only NCAA Division I basketball player 
ever to score 100 points in a single game. In 1955, Israel obtains four of the seven Dead Sea Scrolls. In 1959, the Barbie doll goes on sale for the first time. In 1960, black college students staged the first of the Nashville sit-ins at three lunch counters in Nashville, Tennessee. Also in 1960, Delmar G. Roos, the designer of the original Jeep, dies at 79 years old. In 1961, a 500,000-year-old rock is discovered near Olancha, California in the United States. The rock appears to have a spark plug inside of it. Also in 1961, Frank Sinatra launches the Reprise label under the Warner Brothers Records label. In 1965, the Quebec Liquor Board employees end a 70-day strike. No beers for 70 days. In 1966, Robert C. Weaver becomes the first African-American cabinet member when he is appointed the United States Secretary of Housing and Urban Development. In 1967, American researchers discover the Madrid Codices by Leonardo da Vinci in the National Library of Spain. In 1968, Johnny Cash performs live at Folsom State Prison. Also in 1968, the United States sends 10,500 additional soldiers to Vietnam. In 1970, Black Sabbath releases what is arguably the very first heavy metal album. In 1972, Grease opens on Broadway. Also in 1972, Cabaret, directed by Bob Fosse and starring Liza Minnelli and Michael York, is released. In 1976, Dorothy Hamill wins Olympics figure skating gold in Innsbruck, Austria. In 1977, Guys and Dolls closes at the Broadway Theater in New York City after 239 performances. In 1979, an intense windstorm strikes western Washington on the U.S. west coast and sinks a half-mile-long section of the Hood Canal Bridge. Also in 1979 is the formation of the Guardian Angels Crime Fighters in New York City. In 1980, the opening ceremonies for the 13th Winter Olympics begin in Lake Placid, New York. In 1981, a series of sewer explosions destroys more than two miles of streets in Louisville, Kentucky. Also in 1981, the longest sentence ever is published by the New York Times. It is 1,286 words long. In 1982, today marks Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon being on the charts for the 402nd week. Also in 1982, Zheng Jinlian from Hunan, China dies today at 17. At 8 foot 1 inches, she was the world's tallest woman. In 1984, six-year-old Texan Stormy Jones gets the first heart and liver transplant. In 1985, a passenger train plunges into a ravine in Ethiopia, killing 428 in the worst railroad disaster in African history. In 1988, the 15th Winter Olympics Games open at Calgary, Canada. In 1990, an agreement is reached on a two-stage plan to reunite post-World War II Germany. Also in 1990, Douglas Wilder becomes the first elected African-American governor when he takes office in Richmond, Virginia. In 1991, two smart bombs kill at least 400 civilians in Baghdad during Operation Desert Storm. In 1992, Jose Canseco repeatedly rams his Porsche into his wife Esther's BMW. In 1994, a ship disaster near Renong, Thailand kills 200. In 1996, Howard Stern announces he will be making the film Private Parts. Also in 1996, the rock musical Rent by Jonathan Larson opens off-Broadway. In 1998, in Victoria, British Columbia, three girls ages 14, 15, and 16 are found guilty of the murder of 14-year-old schoolmate Rena Burke. In 2000, the very last Peanuts comic strip is published in newspapers after yesterday's death of creator Charles M. Schulz. In 2001, an earthquake measuring 6.6 .6 on the Richter scale hits El Salvador, killing at least 400. In 2002, American singer-songwriter Waylon Jennings passes away today. In 2004, BPM 37093 a white dwarf star about 50 light years from Earth, and also the universe's largest known diamond, is discovered. In 2005, Lucia Santos died. She was the last surviving of the three shepherd children that Our Lady of Fatima supposedly appeared to in 1917. 
In 2008, Australian Prime Minister Kevin Rood apologized to the Australian Aboriginal peoples for abuses they had suffered under earlier administrations. In 2011, for the first time in more than 100 years, the Umatilla American Indian tribe were able to hunt and harvest a bison just outside Yellowstone National Park, restoring a centuries-old tradition guaranteed by a treaty signed in 1855. In 2012, the passenger cruise ship Costa Concordia sinks off the coast of Italy. Of the 4,232 passengers and crew, there are 31 confirmed deaths and one person who is still missing. In 2016, U.S. Supreme Court Justice Antonin Scalia died in Shafter, Texas. In 2017, U.S. President Donald Trump accepts the resignation of National Security Advisor Michael Flynn over his dealings with Russia. In 2018, an Israeli police report recommends Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu be prosecuted on bribery, fraud, and breach of trust charges. In 2019, NASA confirms the Mars Opportunity Rover's mission has ended after 15 years due to a sandstorm damaging its communications. In 2020, January 2020 was the hottest January in recorded history according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, also known as NOAA. And in 2021, archaeologists announced the discovery of the oldest known beer factory in Abydos, Egypt. It dates from between 3150 BCE and 2613 BCE. This buds for you, King Tut. I hope you are curled up by a fire, staying warm, and watching lots of my videos at least until the Super Bowl starts tonight. Happy Sunday, everyone.